Between 1974 and 1979, there emerged a dance craze commonly known as disco. <laughs> this phenomenon dominated the airwaves and swept the nation with the likes of such notable artists as Donna Summer, Chic, Casey and the Sunshine Band, the Village People, the Bee Gees, Barry White and his Love Unlimited Orchestra, and of course, the survivor herself, Gloria Gaynor. And there's the famous venue that made disco its home, Studio 54, which brings us to our next composition entitled Disco Cioso. <laughs> Not exactly a disco number in the true sense of the word. It does, however, suggest feelings of disco reminiscent of a period in music history gone by, along with a contrasting non-disco middle section, which gives the piece harmonic, rhythmic, and melodic relief and structural balance. Now, before I hand it over to the Picasso Trio, I'd just like to mention two things within the piece. In the middle section, you'll notice that Miss Gandalfi will go inside the piano. Can you try that, please? <laughs> OK, you'll hear this sound. OK, that sound, of course, was as a result of an inspiration that I heard um, Joshua McGee do in one of his earlier compositions about four odd years ago. And I like that sound, so I decided to incorporate that into this piece. So thank you, Mr. McGee, for that inspirational idea. <laughs> OK, the next thing I'd like to mention is that when we get back to the, after the middle section, we go back into the disco, you'll notice like, in the Bronx, they had this thing called rap, <laughs> OK? <laughs> Hip hop rap. Now, of course, you know the rap, of course, is <laughs> Well, the strings will do that without words. I'd like to demonstrate that right now. At letter J, please. OK. <laughs> Okay, that's what you call a hip hop rap without words. <laughs> and that's incorporated in this piece. So, without further delay, without further delay, here is the Picasso Trio, and they're going to perform for you Disco Cioso. <laughs> 